Greetings, YouTube. Um, looking at the current lot of uh, Democratic candidates for potential runs at the presidency in 2020, to my mind, there are only three people in that race. It's Biden, Sanders, and Warren. Now, I don't want Biden. Um, I consider himself, Tim, to be a Republican. Frankly, I considered, for the most part, Obama to be a Republican. Center, right, corporate conservative. And that's what Biden is. But Biden also has a really unfortunate past when he's done numerous things that were overtly racist. Um, and he keeps trying to, you know, Uncle Joe is there to help you kind of thing. And I don't want Uncle Joe. I want Joe to go to hell away. I don't need him. I don't want him. It's not what America needs. Now, I can't get the candidate I want, which is AOC. I want her to be president because she's as progressive as I want a president to be. So out of the two remaining are Sanders and Warren, which is going to mean I want them on a ticket. And I want Sanders to be president. And Sanders is not progressive enough for me. I know people call him socialist. I know he calls himself a socialist, which is great. I still don't think he's progressive enough. He's not as progressive, as I mentioned, as AOC. And Warren, Warren is still too center-right conservative for my book. She likes capitalism. Now, admittedly, she's willing to restrain capitalism. That's a step in the right direction. But she still likes capitalism. And to my mind, that's dangerous. That leaves the door open to corruption in a way that I don't think Sanders will be corrupted. Um, but a Sanders-Warren ticket would be one I could get behind. And I think we could have a Sanders-Warren ticket if we could get just get Uncle Joe the hell out of the way. Um, but that's going to be tough because of the candidates that are currently running, the establishment really likes Joe Biden because Joe Biden is the closest thing they're going to get to keeping the status quo well-maintained. And that's what they want. They want the status quo to be maintained. And I want the status quo to be overturned. I'm not looking for a revolution because I am a student of history and I know what happens in revolutions. People die. Lots and lots of people die. And I would like to avoid that. But we need something overturned. We need a new way of looking at the world. And the Sanders Warren ticket could get us there or at least a lot closer to there. It's not going to be as close as I want. It's not going to be as rapidly as I want. I want it yesterday. Um, but I want the corporations brought to task. I want them I want them brought to heel. I want billionaires eradicated. We don't need billionaires. I want all of the wealth that they have hoarded, the wealth that you and I have created, put back into our society. I want to make sure that no one in this world, no one, is ever hungry, homeless, lives in ignorance, or lives without health care. And I think that's a really low bar. And yet we can't reach it because we've let the people in charge of the system, those that are hoarding the wealth and the power to make the calls that says the rest of us must suffer that they can be at the top of the, top of the heap. Well, no. We need to tell them you don't get to do that anymore. That everybody has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we can't do that if you're holding all the power and the resources and the wealth. The wealth that you and I made, not them. The 1% are parasites. Without labor, you have nothing. You can have the best idea in the world. And if you don't have people to implement it, it isn't ever going to ever going to happen. Labor is the driving force of the world, not capital. Yes, that makes me a socialist. Big whoop. I want the best for all of us. I want to make sure that everyone is taken care of from cradle to grave, even the red caps. And there's the difference. I want to make sure they don't suffer even though they are doing everything in their power to spread suffering as much and as far as possible.
They may be completely and utterly morally bankrupt, and yet I still don't want to see them suffer. Though there are times when I would love to strip them of their political power, but that would be immoral on my part, so I won't. I just want them to stop hurting the rest of us. And that's what they're doing. So at the moment of the candidates at hand, I want Biden gone and I want a Sanders Warren ticket. So let's see what happens. Let's see how close we get to that between now and November of 2020. Once the fallout hits from the primary, we'll see what's going to be really uh, at stake here. Because if it's a Biden shit given contest, I think Biden can win. But I think that's not going to be much of a change, sadly. And we're not going to get what we need because the status quo will be maintained and the revolution that we need, though I don't want that violence, is never going to happen. We need to overturn the system. We need to make it a better place. We need we the people taken care of and not we the corporations. A radical concept, I know, that people are more important than profit. But without that, we're we're doomed as a nation. And I would not prefer if we didn't see this experiment die out at the hands of the reading.